What is up everybody? This is Omega Belmont back again with another statue and figure unboxing. For today, I got a pretty awesome figure here from Kotobukiya. This is Sniper Wolf from the Metal Gear Solid series. As you can see, this is the Metal Gear Solid Bishujo statue. So I don't remember if there was any Metal Gear Solid Bishujo figures out. I probably should have checked on that, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't. So this might be the first one in the line. So anyways, we're gonna take a look at the box and we'll take a look at the figure right after. So with the box here, uh, we're gonna take pretty much a look around the box and then we go to the figure right after so on uh, the box here you can see the front here with the window in the front and you see the figure in the back there uh, of course it's from Kotobukiya from Metal Gear Solid and this is Sniper Wolf and it's from the artwork of uh, Shunya Yamashita so he, he or she Shunya Yamashita uh, <laughs> I gotta probably check that out but I think it's a dude maybe I, I'm, I'm not gonna well I'll check it out later but uh They've done some awesome stuff. Uh, it's mostly a lot of Bishujo stuff that usually uh, with the, the artists here. I've seen a few other ones that I've seen. I actually saw one at Anime Central that I probably should have bought, but uh, when I went back, it was gone. So anyways, uh, this is the front of the box here. And then we're gonna take a look at the side here. Uh, if you can see from there, uh, we got another look at the artwork and a little window there. And then, on the back here, we have a look at the front of the figure and then the back of the figure. That's pretty much it. Uh, usually there's a little box in the bottom that tells you what's coming up next. So right now, they probably don't have anything in the Metal Gear Solid line. So that's probably why it doesn't have anything in the back there. Hopefully we get something soon. That would be pretty awesome. So uh, then we'll check uh, the side here. And this is pretty much what the artwork or the statue or the figure is based off of the artwork. So uh, anyways, that is it for the box. Let's take a look at the figure right after. All right, so here's a look at the Sniper Wolf figure from Kotobukiya. Of course, it's also PVC, and it is about seven and a half inches tall. Uh, usually, most of the Kotobukiya uh, Bushujo figures are usually about eight to nine inches tall, but of course, this one is. Uh, she's kind of sitting down anyway, so that's the reason why it's only seven and a half inches tall. So, still pretty pretty tall <laughs> uh, and then of course it is I think around 6,500 yen so you're looking at about almost uh, $60 plus uh, plus shipping so or well, minus shipping I should say but uh, so about 70 something $80 shipping now mostly with the jump in uh, yen or in uh, EMS shipping so it's gone up <laughs> a bit so very careful with that but anyways uh, this is the figure here I'm gonna do a quick spin of the figure and then we'll talk about it right after. So it's a pretty simple figure to, to set up, not much. She does come with three different uh, parts. Actually, she comes with four, uh, three, three different parts. She comes with the little ammo box here, her box that she's standing on and her sniper rifle. So what you have to do, it's pretty simple. She doesn't really peg into anything. Uh, there is actually a little indent on the her right thigh there that you could just pretty much place her on and that's where it goes and then what you do is just slide the ammo box under her that's pretty much it uh and then you should know that in the back there there's her hand that's kind of holding on to to uh, the box there so and then with the sniper you just put it in to her hand there and it's pretty much it, it just stays on the ground like that so you don't have to do anything you can position whatever way you want i guess but uh in the picture this is kind of like this i think it's actually flipped a little bit to the left there more but i kind of we'll, we'll go with this one so pretty simple stuff uh so let's talk about the figure right next like i said no uh, no base uh, the base is actually the box uh the cool part is the ammo the ammo box here that she's kind of sitting on that's pretty cool uh she is pretty much laced in uh, kind of leather kind of army gear I guess <laughs> and then the coolest part is this little little fox right there so that's awesome our little yeah it's a little fox and then of course her gun there she's holding on to it's just a gray gun that goes through it looks semi detailed it's not like super detailed uh, like the figure is uh, and then you can see up here she actually has some shoelaces here that you kind of it kind of dangles a bit so you can't see that so you gotta be careful with that just in case it falls off and then we're going up here, she has her boots on. Looks pretty simple. I wish her boots had a little different, uh, not color, but looking material. It looks like it's just uh, PVC material, kind of glossy. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more, almost like dirty. So it looks kind of kind of like a, look like a boot. So uh, and then up here, you can see that she has 
the little Foxtown Foxtown emblem there. Uh, her gloves looks pretty cool, I guess. It's just you can see it has a little glow to it too there. Uh, and then uh, her fingers, yeah, everything looks pretty good. The box is kind of, you see the little etchings on the side here uh, with the box. It makes it look like it's a dirty box, and it's just like a box, but it, it looks like it makes it kind of look like it's a uh, wooden box. But you can touch it, and it's not really actually a material. Yeah, it comes close. <laughs> uh, and then I'll go up here. Of course, she has her shirt here unzipped, and it goes all the way up. And it's pretty much to her belly button, <laughs> and it's kind of just covering her breasts there in, in a bit so uh, on the side here is also another foxhound uh look yep foxhound emblem there uh on her waist here has a bunch of little little pockets i mean little just like a belt utility belt that has all this stuff there and then of course we go up to her hair uh does she always have green hair i don't remember that uh <laughs> Uh, maybe yes, no, but in this picture here, it looks like she has kind of a green hair. Oh, I almost forgot her collar around her neck. You can see that too. Uh, if you look close enough, maybe I'll get, get a picture of that. But she does have a collar on, and she has green lipstick, and then her hair is covering one side of her eyes, and the other side is kind of just open, kind of staring at you. So, uh, and then like I said, her hair kind of comes down, like comes down. There's no wind blowing, so. It looks pretty uh, simplistic. I wish her hair was a little bit better made, I guess. It looks very kind of rough looking. Uh, I wish it was like, I, th I thought she had blonde hair, but I guess in here she kind of looks like a green. I guess it looks, goes with her outfit, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's all green. And then, uh, it, but it looks like all the strands, that's what it looks cool where all the strands are. And then it does have the, the Bishujo kind of look with the tails, and the, the end of the, the hair there kind of almost become clear. I think that's what it looks like here. It's like green and then it comes clear a bit. Not too, not too, not as bad as the other Bishujo, Bishujo ones, but uh, you can kind of see that's coming, kind of doing that a bit. So other than that, the figure is still a really well-made figure. I do like pretty much everything about this figure. It's an awesome figure. You should probably try to get it. If you can, I, uh, if I saw it right on amiami.com, uh, you can't pre-order it right now, so it's on back order. So hopefully they come out with uh, some uh, figures in a, you know, a few months here. So unless you could probably try to get it from a like Big Bad Toy Store or something like that. So uh, reveal-wise, I like the figure. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. It's an well-made figure uh like i said it's pretty simple to put in together nothing you don't have to peg anything in uh, it does come with three kinds of i guess i don't know if you want to call it a box and accessories but it's more of a base it comes with the weapon the her sniper rifle and the little uh bullet uh canister here or ammo box i should say uh, and then of course the coolest part to me to me is a little fox or little dog down the or wolf we want to call it down on the bottom they're kind of peeking out at you so it's pretty funny looking but other than that it's still a well-made figure uh, i do have problems with the hair a bit i think their hair is a little bit a little rough uh the shoes could be a little bit dark but it's really just nitpicking things so i still give it a 9 out of 10 so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys come back next time for some more uh statue and figure unboxing this is omega belma and i'll see everybody next time peace out